I've been on this earth 90 years today. Don't believe it, I hear you say. An angel babe for Chris and Sid. The middle of five, a lovely little kid. Norwood, South Australia was the place of my birth and the, the 29th of November was when I slid to earth. With a little bit of Scottish in her family tree, Annie Christina migrated from Germany. With a little bit of French from England, Dad came to add a bit of Australian to the family name. So I am a hybrid born of European stock, bringing a dinky dye Aussie into the flock. When I was four, Dad was sent to New Zealand, the whole family uprooted to live in Dunedin. I soon went off to primary school there, following on to Tech High School where I enrolled in the art course. I was good with my hands and was tutored in all kinds of artistic strands. We were three little art girls in, on the third year and I was made a prefect, dear, oh dear, and I thought I was dumb, I was very, very shy, but I must have done a good job, I really did try. It was then that my dad was transferred to Hobart, so another upheaval and another new start. No more schooling for me, we decided, so I ended up map tracing in the forestry department. This job suited me right down to the ground till later I became restless and eventually found the man of my dreams with marriage in sight. Fritz was from Austria and a pianist, just right. So we soon got together and eventually took flight from Hobart to Newcastle to start married life. From Newcastle to Strathfield, we kept moving on. From Strathfield to Asquith to build our own home. From Asquith, Fritz was suddenly put off his job and we found Bundina with, with the need to earn a few bob. We ran the beach store for a number of years, with schooling and music ringing in our ears. For by then we had three children in tow, gorgeous they were, going with the flow. After a few years, we bought the shop property and made the living quarters a lot more comfy. Later again, when we'd had our fun, we leased the shop house half for others to run. Then there was time to give back to my talents, to delve in the garden, have a game of tennis. I saw some pictures made with tree bark and thought to do that would be quite a lark. So I channeled my artistic talents that way and my pictures are famed to this very day. For 52 years I've been living here now, 42 of them widowed, and that is just how my roots have gone down in Bandina, you see, and I'm now very much a local identity. I've been on this earth 90 years today. Sounds quite ridiculous, I really have to say. And having lived to this good age, I feel very blessed with such a lovely family and friends of the very best. I love you all dearly, enjoy my big day and wish me much strength for more tennis to play. <laughs>